Good morning, Scorpios, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, Scorpio, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. Sorry, you guys. I apologize if I'm a little bit low, but it is 6.30 in the morning, so I'm trying not to be as loud, okay? But, Scorpios. We're just going to continue right along in the series that we've been doing. What are they telling their friends and family about this connection with you, Scorpio? And what we're going to do is we're going to ask Holy Spirit, what is the current energy between you and your person? What's the current energy? And then um, we're actually going to take a look at what they may be saying to their friends and family about you and this connection, Scorpio, how they really feel, right? So, nothing to it but to do it, so let's get it. Please do keep in mind, Scorpios, that this reading may or may not resonate with every single Scorpio, okay? So, please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. My moon is in Scorpio, by the way. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because being an Aquarius sun, right, um, a lot of people tend to think that I don't have feelings or I'm very, like, non-emotional or unemotional, but that's not the case at all, like... I'm very sensitive internally. So, I feel where y'all come from, Scorpios. Okay. Spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency. Please let me see the messages for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. Okay. Hang on, y'all. Scorpio, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. Current energy between Scorpio and their person. Current energy between Scorpio and their person. Please, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Um, Scorpio, please do me a huge favor and let me know down in the comment section below if this reading resonates for you. Even if it doesn't, just leave me feedback, please. I greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Current energy between Scorpio and their person. All right. So we're going to be using, oh, let me show you the deck. The Yin Yang Oracle by Stellar. And I'm also going to be using the Gilded Tarot. Gilded Tarot Royale. Okay, by Sarah Mache. Okay, y'all. guys of the highest vibration of frequency please let me see the messages for scorpio sun and rising and venus what is their person telling their friends and family what is their person telling their friends and family what is their person telling their friends and family please and thank you between scorpio and their person all right so current energy oh sorry y'all So somebody has been really praying about this connection, Scorpio, you or them. Um, someone, I feel like this is a masculine energy, has a lot of pride and ego. There is a lot of compassion and love here, compassion and nurturing. I feel like you probably nurture the connection, Scorpio, with this person. And you may be the one that's been praying about the situation or you prayed for this connection. You manifested it. I feel like someone manifested this connection. Mm. We have control tactics. For some of you, not all of you. Um, along with the ego, vanity, and pride, right? And the control tactics. Someone could be a little bit dominant. A little bit kind of dominant. Not in a bad sense. But for some of you, it could be in a bad sense. Where the person is a little bit over controlling or a little bit overbearing so be mindful of that but there is a lot of passion and chemistry here between you two so or actually I'm getting another message Scorpio hang on y'all getting another message 
that you, Scorpio, may have to use certain control tactics in order to manipulate this connection because this person is so full of pride and ego. Like sometimes you may have to give them an ego boost or an ego stroke in order to nurture this person, show them your love and compassion because this, this person may have um, like insecurities, right, about themselves or like body image issues for some of you, but not for all of you. But for some of you, your person has, um, they have a false sense of self. They've created an ego, but really deep down, they're very insecure about certain things about themselves. And so you try to um, nurture, nurture this connection by showing them compassion, by saying things that kind of inflate their ego a little bit um, to make them feel good about themselves. Because you really, you don't want your person to be hurting, Scorpio. You want to encourage them and let them know that you do love them you do like you do like the way they look they are attractive to you you know especially if this person is like really insecure okay and i feel like this is a lot of you divine feminine scorpios but if you're a masculine this applies to you as well your feminine may be a little insecure about herself she could be a little vain you know but you're there to help nurture and, and support her you know okay and you do feel that this connection is divinely guided. I feel like you guys have manifested this connection with assistance from the spirit guides. So what is their person telling their friends and family? Okay. Oh, we have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. beautiful Scorpio. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hang on. Okay. okay. So we have the, the Ten of Wands, Temperance, the Lovers, Major Arcana. Even though there may have been some stressful times between you two, or you may recently be going through some stressful times, um, your person is telling their people, their family and friends that, look, I do have a lot of love for Scorpio. I want things to work out between us because he or she balances me out. They balance me out with temperance here. Also, um, I want to take my time because I know that they're the one. This person is my soulmate. Scorpio is my soulmate. So that's what they're telling friends and family, that Scorpio is their soulmate. Where now, um, if they weren't before Scorpio, they're telling their friends and family, hey, look, I'm ready to give up anything in my past so that I can be with Scorpio. It's going to be difficult. With the Ten of Wands, it's going to be difficult, but I'm willing to let go of anything in my past that I've been holding on to, any conflicts or burdens between us, so that we can move forward in a more peaceful state and take our time. Because temperance is Sagittarian energy, and it's about having patience and also having faith, just like the hangman. The hangman sees things from a different perspective. And your person is telling their family and friends, look, I see things from a different angle now, you know. They're confirming that this is a new person, and they have a lot of love for you. Scorpio, Ace of Cups, overflowing. A lot of love here. And they're willing to, they're willing to um, wait. I feel like they're willing to wait with the hangman because the hangman is suspended. He's suspended in there. Kind of a, a lot of people, readers say it's stuck, but it's almost like a stalemate to me. Like with the Two of Swords. Kind of just putting everything into perspective. Um. <clears throat> They're willing to sacrifice for you, Scorpio. They do have so much love for you with the Ace of Cups here. This person definitely, and this is a new person. For those of you who are watching, this is a new person. This is not somebody from your past, okay? Um, like I said, the reading may or may not resonate with every single Scorpio. But for some of you, this person, um, some of them see you as kind of closed off at times and a little bit, <laughs> a little bit harsh. Queen of Swords. <laughs> but yeah, some of, you, some of them see you as a little bit because they know that you're trying to, uh, you're trying to earn, earn, they have to earn your trust, basically, Scorpio. We're going to leave my shoe alone. Let me throw more. <clears throat> but they're willing to take the time to gain your trust, Scorpio, because you question them about everything. You question, look at her face. Like, you question them about their intentions and everything. So... Ooh. But they are connected to you. They are connected to you. They want to offer their love. They want to, <coughs> excuse me, 
excuse me, Scorpio. They want to wine and dine you, Knight of Cups here. This is so sweet. They have so much love and respect for you with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is like a romantic gesture. They want to display their romantic feelings towards you. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Um, they may see you as um, emotionally unavailable at times or holding back. Like sometimes you hold back from them. Sometimes you hold back from them. And, and sometimes you're kind of closed off with the Two of Swords. And the Queen of Swords, you're analyzing everything. You're taking everything in. So, but they're, they're willing to earn your trust. I feel like they know that they're trying to earn your trust because they have this strong twin flame soulmate energy between you two. And they want to express that love to you, Scorpio. Wow. So, that's been your reading, Scorpio, for the month of May for what they're telling their friends and family, okay? Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if this reading resonates for you. And until next time, Scorpios, thanks for watching.